to today's lesson on the least common multiple. It's also known as the LCM. Today I'm going to teach you how to use prime factorization to find the least common multiple of two numbers. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's begin today's lesson discussing multiples. What exactly is a multiple? Well, a multiple just means that you have one or more of a certain number. So if I took the number two and I wanted to list multiples of two, I would list two itself because that means I have one two. I could list four, which means I have two twos. I could list six, which means I have three twos. Or I could list eight, which means I have four twos, and so forth. So a multiple means that you have one or more of a specific number. Now if I wanted to list multiples for the number three, I would list three, because that means I have one three. Six, because that means I have two threes. Nine, which means I have three threes, and so forth. So the least common multiple is when you're comparing two numbers, in this case two and three, and you're looking for a multiple that they have in common, which is the smallest. So two and three don't have the multiples two or three that they share. So let's move on to the number four. Two has a multiple of four, but three does not. So now we move on to six. Now two and three both have multiples of six, and that's the smallest multiple that they share. So that means that the least common multiple for the number two and three is six. Now that's pretty straightforward when you have smaller numbers, but I'm going to teach you another strategy that you can use when you're trying to find the least common multiple of larger numbers. Let's go ahead. One strategy that you can use to find the least common multiple of two numbers is prime factorization. So we're going to use prime factorization to find the least common multiple for the numbers 12 and 16. Let's go ahead and start with the number 12. We know that we can multiply 3 times 4 to equal 12. But 4 isn't a prime number, so we're going to break it down even further to 2 times 2. So what we're saying is if you multiply 3 times 2 times 2, it will equal 12. And that's the prime factorization for the number 12. Now let's go ahead and look at the number 16. If we multiply 4 times 4, we get the number 16. And these aren't prime numbers, so if we break it down further, 2 times 2 equals 4, and 2 times 2 equals 4. So the prime factorization for the number 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. All right. Now that we've completed the prime factorization for 12 and 16, let's find the least common multiple. All right, so now we've listed out the prime factorization for the number 12 and for the number 16. So now what we need to do, we need to combine these prime factors for each of these numbers so that we can multiply them together and find our least common multiple. So let's go ahead and let's start with the number 12. We have three times two times two. And these numbers together equal 12. So now we're going to combine this with our factors for the number 16. So we have two times two, and we're actually going to use the same twos that we already used for the number 12. So now we just need to add on our last twos. So we're going to multiply by two and by two again. And here you can clearly see that we have the prime factors included for the number 16. Now when we multiply these together, that's going to be the least common multiple for the number 12 and 16. So 3 times 2 equals 6, times 2 equals 12, times 2 equals 24, times 2 equals 48. So the least common multiple for the numbers 12 and 16 is going to be 48. Let's go ahead and practice a few problems together. Can you find the least common multiple for the numbers 4 and 2? Well, when you're dealing with smaller numbers like 4 and 2, it's pretty simple to just list out their multiples. So let's list a few multiples for the number 2. We have 2, 4, 6, and so forth. Multiples for the number 4, we have 4 itself, 8, 
12, but we actually don't need to go any further because if you look, we have two numbers that are the same, which are multiples for each number. 4 is a multiple of itself, and 4 is a multiple of 2. So the least common multiple for the numbers 4 and 2 is actually going to be the number 4 itself. Let's go ahead and find the least common multiple for the numbers 6 and 8. Now since these numbers are a little bit larger, we can go ahead and use prime factorization. So we can multiply 2 times 3 to equal 6. To get 8, we can multiply 2 times 4, but since 4 isn't a prime number, we're going to split it down into 2 times 2. So now we have 2 times 3, and we have 2 times 2 times 2 as our prime factors. So let's go ahead and let's try to find the least common multiple using these prime factors. We know that we have 2 times 3, and since we already used 1, 2 over here, we don't need to use one of the 2's over here. So now we're going to multiply 2 and 2 in our expression. And now let's solve. 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. 12 times 2 equals 24. So the least common multiple for the numbers 6 and 8 is 24. Let's go ahead and review what you've learned in today's lesson. When you're trying to find the least common multiple for two numbers, you can either list out some multiples for each number and try to find the smallest one that they both share, or you can go through prime factorization and multiply some of those factors together. For example, if we wanted to find the least common multiple for the number 9 and 12, we would have to go through prime factorization to find their prime factors first. So 9 is pretty simple. 3 times 3 equals 9. So when we list this out for prime factorization, we write 3 times 3. For the number 12, we multiply 3 times 4, but since 4 isn't a prime number, we break it down further to 2 times 2. So the prime factorization for the number 12 would be 3 times 2 times 2. Now when we go ahead and we try to write this down to find the least common multiple, we write 3 times 3, and then since we already used this 3 once, we're going to cross it out, and now let's go ahead and use the 2's. So we multiply times 2 times 2. So 3 times 3 equals 9, times 2 equals 18, times 2 equals 36. So the least common multiple for 9 and 12 is 36.